with me very soon. But in the meantime, uh, we've been beautifully handed some fantastic stories by local producer and filmmaker Richard Snatchel um, following his recent visit to Japan. And in the second of what he's calling the O stories, as they're from Japan's most southern cluster of islands, Okinawa, Richard has decided to find out about and even briefly become a humble student of the native martial art of Okinawa, and that's karate. Well, you can hear some very firm karate punches here, and I'm glad I'm not on the receiving end. Well, I've come to the central Okinawan town of Yomitan, and I'm going to be introduced to karate, or karate, I suppose, as we typically call it in Australia, a martial art which is very well known, but perhaps people don't really know that it comes from Okinawa. And I'm going to have a lesson today, which is um, something really special. But I've just discovered that my teacher is Kevin. Now, Kevin, tell me about yourself. You are not an Okinawan, are you? Uh, no, not yet. I'm working on it. Um, yeah, I'm, my name is Kevin Chaplin. I'm from Dorset in the UK. Uh, I moved to Okinawa nearly five years ago to study and develop my karate. Tell me where we are and um, if you could just, just sort of describe where we are because it's a beautiful location and what, what you're doing here because you're actually teaching yourself now, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's uh, a dream come true. Um, I found the teacher I wanted. I'm you know, studying the best karate I've ever seen. Um, and like Sensei Chinen said to me, he said, you come here, work hard, I teach you as much as you can. And that's what I've done. And then he's put me in charge of this dojo here. And now I teach regular students and I teach guests. So this dojo is kind of two things. So Sensei Chinen's federation, the World Oshukai Federation, is an international federation spread over the whole world, um, teaching students uh, traditional Shorin New Karate and traditional Okinawan Kobudo, the weapons arts. Uh, and so we have this dojo here as a branch of that World Oshukai Federation. But the other thing we can do here is this dojo also acts as the International Karate Study Center. Okay, so that we can have guests from all over the world come here and stay and study karate. You call it, is the word sensei? Sensei, yes, which is a Japanese word roughly translated as uh, teacher. But if you the, look at the characters, it's actually the, the one who has been there before or has traveled the path before. It's kind of like the literal translation. translation. Uh, so it's your, your guide, your mentor. Um, and it's also a term of respect for um, people that are very advanced in their field. So you... Uh, teachers and doctors um, or specialists will be called sensei. Tell me about your, you know, your early sort of introduction to karate. So um, I think like most people, we watch too many martial arts movies, Bruce Lee and uh, Jackie Chan and the like. Uh, I loved it. You know, I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Uh, I was always quite sporty. I loved using my body. And then when a karate teacher rocked up to my local middle school and gave a demonstration, that was it. I was straight in there. Uh, long story short, that developed into me realizing that this is my passion. This is what I really love doing. Um, although I was never a, good, a very good student, I knew it's what I loved. And to take it further, uh, I knew I had to immerse myself in, in, in the culture um, to really dive in. Um, and learn about what is traditional martial arts. So, you know, it's a confusing old world now. Uh, many different martial arts, many different sports. Uh, but I needed to come here, uh, get stuck in with a, with a real traditional teacher um, and, and develop my karate to, to the level I, I wanted to. So today we're going to do a little bit of uh, karate, traditional Okinawan karate. Uh, most people know of karate, um, but karate is a self-defense system using the whole body um, and it's developed here in Okinawa. Okay, many influences over the centuries, uh, but it was developed in Okinawa. Okay, so it's an Okinawan martial arts. So when it came time for Kevin to give me a basic lesson, 
I actually really enjoyed it. And being a fairly skinny, bony sort of guy, I wasn't too bad. Okay, good. So we've got that. There's one here in our combination. So we're in our fighting stance before and we're doing a punch, right? Yep. Okay, generally speaking, for our basic starter, attack with the rear hand, block with the front hand. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Totally. In what other areas of your life would you say it's, um, it's had an effect or, or, or benefited you? Uh, mental discipline is obviously there. Uh, I've learned a lot more of the, uh, uh, the deeper side of, the, of karate. For example, um, understanding not just my opponent, you know, who I'm dealing with. Um, and that's not just in a fighting sense, that's with in a business sense or in a personal relationship sense. You know, opponent may not be the correct word, but it's that, that opposite side, you know, it's understanding that other side of the equation. And then on the flip side, understanding yourself. You know, just for you, what, what, what appeals to you about um, the lifestyle here? And because it's, something tells me it's a little bit uh, different to Dorset. Yes and no, a little bit hotter, <laughs> definitely a little bit hotter. Um, yeah, Yomitan especially, uh, this central part, more countryside part of uh, Okinawa, is very laid back, uh, easy going, uh, very friendly people, um, good calm lifestyle. And of course I'm very lucky, I'm, my job is my passion. And uh, that's the other thing, I've met a lot of people around here that it's the same for them. Um, divers, cameramen. Um, uh, photography experts, you know, all sorts, you know, uh, uh, ultra entrepreneurs, you know, they're here because their passions brought them here and this lifestyle allows them their freedom to pursue their passion and enjoy their day-to-day -day life all at the same time. Okay, we pass that, you okay? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, good, good. Nice, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou Thank you very much. Thank you. Isn't it fantastic? And I love the Japanese Dorset accent coming in there. The wonderful local filmmaker, uh, Richard Snashel, generously offering to do some packages for us while he was filming in Japan. Thank you so much, Richard. You are on Triple Six. Alex, so with you this afternoon. And uh, it was a really interesting debate on Q&A last